Hey everybody, it is time to imagine it. We are inside of the Eat It Up exhibit inside the Imagination Station. And Carl, I'm always hungry yeah. on the morning. So, you know what? I'm liking this already. What are we doing today? We're talking about acid reflux. Oh. Okay. Okay, so, so no food involved. Well, there is probably food involved okay. if you have acid reflux. But um, there are some really interesting chemistry principles that go behind some of these uh, acid reflux medicines like Gaviscon. Okay. okay. So this one has like three compounds in it. We're going to kind of step through each of those compounds and see mm -hmm. what they do and then how it all comes together to sort of help with that acid reflux. And of course, <laughs> acid reflux, this is my model of a stomach, okay? We got okay. our stomach here and our esophagus. Filled with delicious food, right? Filled with a little bit of acid, <laughs> yes. Yeah, there you go. And when that acid comes back up to the esophagus, that's when the problem occurs, and you sure. get that burning sensation. So, go ahead and put your safety glasses on. Okay, We've safety got a, glasses on. a beaker of acid here and a little sodium bicarbonate. Okay. So why don't you take a scoopful of that uh, sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, right. if you will, and just uh, toss it into the beaker. Okay. It's gonna, f you know, it's gonna foam up. Whoop. Yes, it is. Creates carbon dioxide gas. Okay. All right. so Which we can't really see per se, you, but you that's can't what see, but happening. you see that foaming yeah. up actually. So that's one of the compounds inside here. We're gonna make bubbles inside of our stomach. Wow. Okay. okay. So that's what's happening. Part of what's happening when part, you take something like this. Part of what happens. Okay. What happening? But there's another thing that's happening as well. There's something called sodium alginate. All right. It's it's like a, a polymer, a seaweed extract. And if we add Ooh. sodium alginate to water, I'm gonna see if you can like see if anything happens here. I'll just go ahead and squirt some in. Okay, and this is just a large beaker of water. Large beaker right. of water, okay. and by itself, it does nothing, okay? Nothing's gonna happen here, because this is a polymer, and it needs a cross-linker. It needs calcium ions. Something to catch on to, right? Right, okay. so the other ingredient is calcium carbide. Carbonate, okay. calcium carbonate. All right. I've added some calcium carbonate to this beaker of water. Go ahead and give a good squirt of that alginate in there. Again, that's our, our polymer compound. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. As much as you want. That's pretty good. Now use that little strainer, the spaghetti noodle. Oh, I can thingy. almost already see it. Wow. See what's happening there. Oh, it's pull, pull it, pull it, it feels straight thick. up. Straight Ooh. up. Yeah. We made these little Ooh. worms of alginate. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna combine the CO2 bubbles okay. over there mm -hmm. with the alginate inside our model stomach. So you want me to put this in there? Well, it's all been done for us inside oh, the Gaviscon. Perfect. Okay, so all these things are in there. So we're gonna, we're gonna shake this up. We're gonna get an adult dose, and we're gonna put it in our model stomach to see how it all sort of comes together. All right. So that's about 40 milliliters. I'm gonna let you pour this in. So shake it up. Oh boy, that looks right yummy. And we're hoping to shoot it straight down the esophagus. Okay. So go ahead and just pour the whole thing in. Perfect. And once, okay, that's pretty oh good. Oh boy. Once it gets down inside there, mm -hmm. there are calcium ions that have been released, and also those bubbles are CO2 gas. Oh wow, The calcium cross-links the polymer, the, C the bubbles help lift it up. This raft, they call it, of alginate sort of floats up near the opening of the esophagus, uh -huh. stopping any acid reflux oh. from moving back up. Okay, so instead of having that burning, uncomfortable feeling, yeah. instead you have some relief. Now how There's, long would something like this last? Well, the, the normal motions of your stomach will break this raft up over time. It's not permanent, sure. right? And if you if you eat, obviously you're gonna dislodge the raft as mm -hmm. well. But it does provide like a little plug of sorts, a, a sort of a dissolvable plug over time that provides a little protection from that acid reflux. Wow. But it's cool because it combines that um, sodium bicarbonate releasing carbon dioxide gas. Mm -hmm. We get some calcium ions from calcium carbonate and the alginate makes the raft. It all lifts up because of buoyancy mm -hmm. and it helps block and we're actually gonna have a little, we maybe did a little well, bit I too much. Well, I went a little crazy, but a you know. A little too much, that's okay. Yeah, but that's that really interesting explains chemistry. it. So the next time that you go maybe a little crazy with the hot wings or the pizza and you're yeah. subject to this type that, thing, that sort of this acid is reflux. what's happening inside. On a, on a smaller scale, I mean, we kind sure. of really blew it up here, but yeah. yeah, you're getting a plug there that is based upon buoyancy, a little bit of alginate, a little bit of polymer science, calcium ions, cross-linking, all happening inside your stomach. Very cool, so the next time you go to the drugstore, you pick up something <laughs> like this. This is what's really going on in there. Carl, we always learn something cool here at the Imagination Station. And guess what? It is Saturday, so that means if you're a Lucas County paid adult, you can bring a child and they get in free here. Lots of cool experiments always happening. A lot of times they have staff members doing these type things so you can learn a little bit extra while you're here. And that's how you imagine it.